hello and welcome to another Call of Duty World War 2 video. Today's video is all about the recent patch that brought some much needed game improvements. First off, you should no longer encounter that infinite loading screen. I know for a while there, Call of Duty World War 2 was a loading screen simulator. Also, after a match, there is no more guessing what this attachment you unlock goes to. From now on, inside the create class menu, when you unlock something new, it will have a nice shiny star next to the item which says, hey, your new shit is over here. There has also been fixes to the Gustav Cannon and St. Marie Dumont maps, which should prevent any players from getting out of bounds. The espionage basic training has also been nerfed to hell. It used to last 10 seconds and was able to be initiated when inflicting any type of damage on an enemy with flashbangs or bullets or whatever. After the nerf, it only lasts 6 seconds and only bullet damage will paint the target to the minimap. Let's move on to the juicy weapon buffs. The Wolfer Toggle Action Shotgun has had its damage increased at extremely close range, the Bren LMG has increased damage per shot, and finally a buff to the LMG class. If you are using an LMG bipod, you have sped up aim down sights when in the bipod stance. Let's move on to the dreaded weapon nerf. The first weapon that was hit this week was the bar. This was my favourite weapon and they have decreased its fire rate and widened its hip fire spread which doesn't decrease in its fire rate just make it more accurate at longer ranges. The next weapon to be nerfed is the STG44. All they did to the STG was widen its hip fire spread, not really much of a nerf. The FG42 however has had its hip fire accuracy nerfed and also has increased recoil. The last weapon to be nerfed this week is the machine pistol. It has had its damage range decreased. The next thing that they changed this week is very interesting. It happens to all the sniper rifles. They fixed a bug with all sniper rifles zooming to exact center while aiming down the sights. Now this is the reason why quickscoping in this game was so easy. But to be honest with you guys, after this patch was released, I went into the war game mode and used my sniper and it was still easy as hell to kill people. So I don't know exactly what the hell this changed. I think it just changes quick scoping, but still I was aiming down sight pretty damn fast and capping people up, seriously. So it sounds worse than what it actually is, to be honest. All right guys, and that is gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to leave a thumbs up, turn on those post notifications, and most importantly, subscribe to see more Call of Duty videos like this one. I'm out guys, peace.